Another dead commando. Was she holding off Reapers or was she left behind? Commandos work as teams. She would have volunteered to guard this point. Hope she took some down before she died. Our bomb. And Falaire. Rila. Rila, wake up. 
Falea. Rila cannot hear us. Look, she's still alive. I know, but I am afraid Rila is not well. Rila's not one of them yet. She can't be. She just needs to wake up. Why did she do that? Because they've begun to turn her into one of the Reaper's creatures. I'm sorry. Can we set off that bomb? Not without a detonator. The commandos would have had one. We've got to find it. Let's get back to that bomb. Soler, go! Take the elevator! Rila, what, what are you doing? It's too late for me. There are hundreds coming. Just go! Move! No! Rila! I love you. Rila!
There wasn't even time to say goodbye. Few can break the Reaper's hold. Rila's will was extraordinary, as was her love for you. We left her to die. Rila made her choice, and it has reminded me of what is truly important. Why I swore I'd lay down my life. What is that? Alea, the code demands an Ardat Yakshi cannot live outside a monastery that no longer exists. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Shepard. By the Justicar's code, there is only one way to save Valer. Mother, no! My daughters, you were all sold. Let go. What are you doing? Fulfilling the code. By throwing your life away? I won't kill my last daughter. You won't have to. Valer? I'll stay here. Home. No matter what's become of it. Without a proper monastery, I could have left any time. I don't need a building to honor my own code. And if the Reapers return, they won't take me alive. I promise. Then, the code permits you to stay, as you are. Once this war is over, and if I am able, I will visit, as a Justicar should. I'd understand if you wanted to help Falaire rebuild a home here. It must wait now that I can help oppose the Reapers. I'll speak with Valer, then join your forces. If you'll have me, of course. I'd be honored. The honor is mine, my friend. Everything's taken care of down here. Bring in the shuttle. Right, Commander. I'll just follow the smoke. <laughs> I read your report, Commander. We had no idea the situation had deteriorated so quickly. That's why I set off the bomb. There were no Ardat Yakshi left. May the Ardat Yakshi find rest. What the Reapers did to them was monstrous. I had another team of commandos headed to the monastery who I can now formally transfer to Admiral Hackett's command. They'll serve you loyally, Commander. Farewell. for a while. They were fighting the collectors while the council sat and watched. And now they're killing civilians and attacking our allies. Commander, there's a new message at your private terminal. The Crucible Project received some new tech from the Asari government. I'm glad they've decided to help the war effort. Everybody has to fight now, no matter how pretty you are. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. Commander?
Have we heard from Agent Detrace yet? She has not reported in for over eight hours, Doctor. She was stationed on Valchir when the Reapers invaded. I think we can assume what happened. Inform Agent Calamus he's now in charge of reporting Reaper activity past the Loas relay. Rila. But I'm glad she set off that bomb, Shepard. You're not upset the monastery was destroyed? No. Not after what I saw. I don't care that they were Ardat Yakshi. To be turned into such creatures, nobody deserves that. Hello, Shepard. I've always loved the M35, Mako. It's got heart, you know? Ah, oh, come on! The M44 Hammerhead is vastly superior. Come on, that thing's made of tissue paper. At least the Mako can take a few hits. I'd hope so. That thing handles like a drunk rhino. No agility whatsoever. More like a bull that can climb and climb for days. It only climbs because of its stupid, vertically aligned mass effect field. Jump or stick. No speed. No lateral movement. Hey, with a cannon like that, who needs to move? If you want that, why don't you just stick with the old M29 Grizzly? Hey, I love that tank. <laughs> you would be one to love grizzly bears, Mr. Vega. <laughs> what? What's so funny? Commander. Signal confirmed.
You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I'll handle it. Navigation is becoming increasingly difficult due to the number of refugee ships in the docking area. I'd like to request a transfer to a zone with Reaper, Sergeant. And may I ask why you think your deployment deserves special treatment, Private? I think I'll do better against the Reapers than Cerberus, ma'am. And what combat experience against Reapers are you basing this on? Um, none, ma'am. <laughs> Outstanding. Shepard, if you're feeling up to it, I thought we could do something fun for a change. Shepard, glad you came. What'd you have in mind? Something that doesn't involve fighting Reapers. I don't think they've conquered the bar yet. I already scoped it out. But then I thought, if this was my last day alive, I'd actually like to remember it. So? So, I had an idea. Where are we going? Somewhere we're not supposed to. <laughs> Some things never change, do they? Ever have that one thing you always wanted to do before you died, Shepard? Too busy trying to live. What's yours? The whole time I worked at CSEC, I'd stare up at the top of the Presidium and say to myself, I want to go up there. But I never did. There were 137 regulations telling me I couldn't. So you got them changed? No. Now I just don't give a damn. Figured it's time to do something stupid just for the hell of it. Might be the last chance we ever get. A little busier than I imagined. How about a dive in the pool? You obviously haven't seen Turian swim. It's a lot of flailing and splashing interrupted by occasional bouts of drowning. You're right. I just have to save your ass again. It'd make up for all the times I pulled your ass out of the fire. Novaria, Pharos, Ilos. We've had a hell of a ride, haven't we, Shepard? Times like these, you know who your real friends are. They're not the ones running around looking for an escape route. They're the ones who stand at your side through the worst of it. Who never give up on you. I'm lucky I can say I know someone like that. So am I. You're not going to propose marriage now, are you? <laughs> now, before we head back, there is one thing we're going to settle. Once and for all. I'm not saying you don't know how to handle it. Gun, just saying some of us know how to make it dance. So, let's find out who's really the best shot. There are a few people in the galaxy who've seen me in action, Garrus. They seemed impressed. Yeah, but I've actually seen you dance, Shepard. No comment. All right, Vicarian. You're going down. And don't worry, I loaded it with practice lugs for when you miss. That was an easy one. Let you build up your confidence. Long range, I wrote the book. Nobody alive can do this, not even Commander Shepard. Give me a tough one. <laughs> I said a tough one. Step aside. Do it. I'm Garrus Vicarian, and this is now my favorite spot on the Citadel. It's windy up here. Think I'm going to erect a monument right here. Bronze this gun so the whole galaxy knows. That you're the king of the bottle shooters. Glad you're around, Garrus. Never know when the bottles might revolt. <laughs> Spectre 
status recognized. One moment, please. Now arriving at docking bay E-24, emergency civilian housing. Shepard, thanks for coming. I wanted to be here for you, Ash. It's tough to see her go through this. Damn it. There I go again. I hope Sarah can find some peace here. I'm glad I can be here for her. She wanted me to say something about her family. You'll get through this. You need to be strong for Sarah now. You're right. I'm so proud of her. She's no career soldier, but there she is, coping with all this. Reminds me of Dad. Whatever was going on, he put a smile on his face for us. Your family made you what you are. He did his best with four daughters and a strong wife. He always said, live fire exercises was good prep for facing his girly horde. Your sister's waiting. You'll be fine. Right. Here we go. Okay. Remember the trip to the beach the summer before I left for basic training? I'll meet you back aboard the Normandy. James? Commander, what brings you down here? I was about to ask you that. Well, after our little chat, ow, I made up my mind. I'm gonna join the N7 program. And you're celebrating by getting a tattoo? <laughs> sort of. See, there's no official channels to go through right now. So, I guess this is my way of making it official. Technically, I'm just an N7 recruit, but, you know, I figure with you as my training officer, how could I fail, right? I'm flattered, but I wouldn't exactly say I'm training you. Not officially, but what the hell is in this goddamn war? I'm just saying, whether you like it or not, you're my direct superior and you're N7. So I take my lead from you, and you know, I'll take whatever advice you got. Really? Sure, the good advice. Well, they wouldn't ask you if they didn't think you could handle it. Here's hoping. But the real work starts now. Uh-huh. I know it seems like I don't take things seriously, but when I commit to something, I fully commit. Clearly. Hey, I won't let you down. The only person you need to prove yourself to is the one standing in the mirror every morning. Good point. You know, that's gonna sting for a few days. You gonna be ready for duty? Well, I'm not looking forward to slapping my armor back on, but I'm always ready. Glad to hear it. Careful. 
I recognize you. You're Commander Shepard. And you must be Tactus. Heard the refugees consider you their leader. Yes. Someone needs to sort out this mess. CSEC has tightened access to the Citadel, and we've got desperate people down here with no place to go. I also hear you need basic medical supplies. Dr. Shakwa spoke of a mutually beneficial trade. I tried to be clear. In my experience, the Alliance looks out for their own. Trust is a hard thing to come by these days. I know you need our military supplies, but they're worth far more than your basic meds. Her offer wasn't satisfactory. Your people need our supplies, and my people need every edge we can get. Your combat-grade meds will make a difference, and our mission may just save everyone. Now is not the time for pettiness or mistrust. With our day-to-day -day worries, uh, it's easy to forget we are all in this together. I'll have my people contact yours. You'll have your supplies as soon as possible. 